endometriosis of the bladder is not too uncommon. When endometriosis involves the bladder, it may cause significant amount of pain at the center. It can cause pain with urination. It can cause pain and blood in the urine. If this happens, usually it is at the time of ovulation or at the time of menstruation. If you have symptoms of urinary pain, urinary frequency, especially at the time of ovulation or menstruation, you should be very aware of it and that should be investigated. Also, some patients who have had cesarean section, endometriosis, sometimes could get involved in their bladder. Endometriosis of the bladder and the ureter and the kidney can go unnoticed and undiagnosed for a long time. Often, I have said that I do call endometriosis a great masquerader because it behaves and creates all kinds of symptoms. There are very vague symptoms and it might be difficult to diagnose the endometriosis of the bladder, ureter, and the kidney. Endometriosis of the ureters, for example, they could cause the kidneys to die silently without significant amount of symptoms. So we have to be careful and cautious when patient has symptoms and the tests are negative, we should not give up because it could be at times endometriosis involving the bladder and the ureters. The simple urinalysis and simple tests, they might not be diagnostic. So the physician should be more diligent, evaluate the symptoms of the pain urinary symptoms like urinary frequency, urgency, blood in the urine, pain in the back, in the flanks, and that there are vague pains. They could be endometriosis involving the ureters. Although endometriosis of the ureter is rare, it is not that common, but if, if it is not diagnosed properly in the proper time, it may cause the kidneys to die. When it is diagnosed, and usually a gynecologist or a urologist can diagnose this by looking inside of the bladder and also looking inside of the abdomen. Looking inside of the bladder, it is called cystoscopy, video cystoscopy by a video camera. We look inside of the bladder and we evaluate endometriosis of the bladder and we take a biopsy of that and by video laparoscopy we use the camera we look inside of the abdomen with a high definition video camera called video laparoscopy we look inside of the abdomen and we evaluate the bladder surface and also the ureters for the diagnosis of endometriosis Sometimes some tests, they could diagnose endometriosis like MRI or CT and your doctor can guide you in that direction. The first line of therapy for the endometriosis of the bladder, ureter and the kidneys is medical therapy. We should avoid surgery as long as we can, as much as we can. We leave the surgery as the last resort. We make the diagnosis and we try to manage it by medical therapy as long as it is possible. Treatment of the endometriosis of the 
blood and the urine is with video laparoscopy with and without robotic assistant by a very experienced surgeon and there is no need for a major surgery. I hope this information is very helpful to you.